All right, here we go. Number one, bulls do not hate red. You probably think bulls charge at red capes because they hate the color, which makes as much sense as thinking sharks attack swimmers for violating the beach dress code. In reality, bulls cannot even see red. Their eyes only detect two colors, blue and yellow. So a red cape to them looks more like a vaguely grayish brown napkin flapping in the breeze. What actually drives them mad is not the color, but the erratic motion right in front of their face. You could wave a green towel, a beige bathrobe, or even your grandma's floral curtains. As long as you flap it like you're trying out for interpretive dance, the bull will come for you with full enthusiasm. Scientists tested this by waving different colors in front of bulls, and surprise, they charged everything that moved and ignored everything that didn't, like they were browsing spam emails. So why do bullfighters use red capes? Because the audience loves drama and red hides blood better. That's it. It's not personal. The bull doesn't hate your shirt color. It just hates your flamboyant scarf twirling energy. Number two, touching a baby bird makes its mom abandon it. You think that just lightly touching a baby bird triggers mom leaves home mode like in a soap opera? The truth is that mother birds don't even realize you've picked up their chick because most bird species have a terrible sense of smell, even worse than yours when you're congested. They mainly recognize their offspring by shape and sound, not by the scent on your fingers after peeling snacks. A mother bird has already invested in an entire construction project using spit, dry garbage, human hair, and decaying leaves to build that nest, so there's no reason she would abandon her whole child-rearing plan just because you touched it. Researchers still pick up chicks to tag them and place them back, and the mother bird continues to care for them like usual. Unless you've turned the nest into a tourist destination for kindergartners to visit. Or you're live streaming four times a day singing next to it, then, okay, she'll move out because of you, not because of the smell. So if you see a baby bird on the ground, don't cry thinking you've destroyed its family. Just remember, you're probably not that important. Number three. Cracking joints causes arthritis. You crack your knuckles once and immediately receive a glare from grandma, as if you just triggered an ancient curse that doomed the entire family to generational joint problems. But the good news is that cracking sound isn't your bones breaking, and it's not a sign your knees will betray you after 40. It's just nitrogen bubbles in your joint fluid popping when you stretch the joint, like the gentle fizz of a soda can from your skeleton. After cracking, you even have to wait 20-30 minutes to do it again because the gas needs time to dissolve back into the fluid. And there was actually a doctor who cracked only his left hand knuckles for 60 years, leaving the right hand untouched. The result? Both hands had no arthritis, just a slight tendency to annoy people nearby. He even won an Ig Nobel Prize for his weird but useful experiment. The truth is, arthritis comes from age, genetics, and injuries. Not from your habit of cracking fingers when you're bored or waiting for the elevator, so if someone tells you to stop, it's not for your health. It's because they can't stand the sound of a mini explosion going off during a meeting. Number four, dogs only see in black and white. You think your dog is living in a sad black and white noir film, wandering through a colorless world like a bored detective. But the truth is, dogs do see colors, just not as vividly as you. After cranking up all the lightroom filters, dogs have two types of color receptor cells, which means they can clearly see blue and yellow. But things like red, orange, and green just look like dull mud or hospital wall paint. So if you throw it a bright red ball and it ignores you, it's not because it hates you. It just literally can't see the thing. Try tossing a blue or yellow one and watch it go full superhero mode. On top of that, dogs have more rod cells than you, which helps them see extremely well in low light plus a reflective layer in their eyes that makes them glow demon style when you hit them with flash. In other words, dogs see better than you at night, smell better than you. They just can't tell the difference between lipstick shades. So next time, don't blame it for missing the new toy. It saw it. You just happen to pick the exact shade it thinks is the floor. Number five, cold weather gives you a cold. You step outside without a coat and immediately someone yells, you're gonna catch a cold like flu viruses are lurking in the chilly air just waiting to jump you. But bad news for them. Cold doesn't carry viruses. Catching a cold means you actually caught a virus. Cold air doesn't spontaneously generate the flu. It just makes you stay indoors with a bunch of people sneezing into their hands and grabbing door handles. 
Winter makes humans huddle together in poorly ventilated spaces with cozy temperatures, perfect for viruses to thrive and spread. On top of that, cold air dries out your nose and reduces mucus, which weakens your first line of defense. But the thing making you sick is still the virus. If you stand alone in a snowy field with nobody around, you'll be cold, but you won't get sick unless the virus has GPS and delivers itself to your immune system like DoorDash. In Antarctic research stations, people go months without catching colds until someone new flies in and brings the virus with them. So if you're scared of getting sick, don't blame the weather. Blame Jeff from next door who just sneezed into the shared kettle and forgot to wipe it. Number 6. Summer happens because the earth is closer to the sun. You once sat in geography class and thought the earth heats up during summer because it's getting all cozy with the sun like someone crushing too hard without boundaries. But in reality, summer in the northern hemisphere happens when the earth is actually farthest from the sun. The issue isn't the distance, it's the tilt. The earth tilts at 23.5 degrees. Like someone posing with a head tilt to add some vibe. And that tilt changes how much sunlight each area gets throughout the year. When your hemisphere leans toward the sun, sunlight hits more directly. Days are longer and temperatures go up. That's summer. When it leans away, sunlight comes in at an angle like mood lighting in a sad cafe. That's winter. Imagine shining a flashlight at a wall. Straight on it's bright. At an angle the light spreads and dims. That's how seasons work. Truth is, Earth's orbit is slightly squished, but not enough to matter. Without the tilt, the entire planet would live in one eternal season all year long, meaning no winter to complain about being cold, and no summer to blame when your air conditioner dies in July. Number 7. You must drink 8 glasses of water a day. You carry around a 2-liter water bottle like you're cosplaying an IV drip because someone once said, you need to drink 8 glasses of water a day to survive. But the truth is, that 8 came from a 1945 report stating that adults need about 2.5 liters of water per day. And that very same report added that most of that water comes from food. It's just that someone forgot to read the second sentence. So, humanity started chugging water like it was overdue rent. Meanwhile, your body already has a built-in alert system called Thirst, which works better than those water reminder apps on your phone. You also get water from vegetables, fruits, soups, even coffee and tea. So if you're not thirsty and still forcing yourself to drink 8 glasses a day, what you actually need is a bathroom nearby. The only true thing here is that you should stay hydrated, but the definition of hydrated is flexible. Not a fixed law for every person in every location. So next time someone tells you to drink 8 glasses a day, ask them 8 glasses for who? Someone in the desert or someone sitting in a bathtub? Number 8. Humans only have 5 senses. You were taught that humans have five senses, sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch. Sounds neat, like a five item combo meal. But the truth is, your body runs on a whole complex sensor suite that would make any app developer jealous. Beyond the classic five, you also have a sense of balance, so you don't fall over while brushing your teeth with your eyes closed. Proprioception, knowing where your limbs are without looking. Temperature detection, hunger, thirst, pain, pressure, even the perception of time. Although that one tends to glitch out on weekends. Neuroscientists list anywhere from 15 to 20 distinct senses depending on how they're categorized. Meaning you're not just a creature with five senses, you're a full-on biological radar station scanning every possible input. And sometimes using all that processing power just to locate a remote that's been under your pillow the whole time. That's all for today. Comment the one that fooled you the longest and subscribe if you want more Brain Bugs Explained.